Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are currently in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. A very choppy one and we're on the Morella Discovery. Now we wanted to talk to you today about a fly cruise and we wanted to explain to you how they work. So in order to do that we're going to take you back to where our journey began at Gatwick Airport. So now we're back at Gatwick, heading towards the plane. Let me try to explain the difference between a normal cruise and a fly cruise. When people think of cruise ships, they often think of cruises that leave from Southampton, just like the Titanic did. However, this involves a three hour journey down to Southampton, six to seven nights crossing the Atlantic. For us, we decided to fly eight and a half hours across the Atlantic, meaning that we would have seven nights to explore around America via our cruise, stopping at various destinations. It did involve £135 taxi because the train drivers went on strike. Oh, and Claire cut her foot open at the hotel at Gatwick the night before our flight. Check out last week's vlog to see what happened. Anyway, back to our journey to the gate. Our flight to Florida on the 2E787 Dreamliner was all part of the cruise package. So let's get our boarding passes checked and check out the plane. Before we land I'd like to run through a few points about the flight. Now, you might realise that I did forget to film the landing so therefore I'm playing the takeoff backwards. We opted for extra legroom seats which cost us an extra £180 but it was well worthwhile in our opinion. We got complimentary water on the flight. The complimentary headphones were a nice touch as they whispered sweet nothings into your ears. The headphones were for the infotainment system which gave us access to TV shows, films, games and also many music channels along with pre-saved mp3s. The pre-flight safety video was very good and really engaging for families creating that excitement of flying. Along with two free meals we also had numerous free alcoholic beverages. The beauty of flying long haul. Drink up David, we're in Orlando! Don't forget to pick up your luggage, you'll need to take that to the coach that transfers you to your ship. However, you don't need to take it off the coach and onto the ship, that will be done for you. Apparently Florida is known as the Sunshine State. Maybe they'll let us drive the boat, we've got the hats, 
Maybe not. It's a little bit bigger than our camper van. Off to the cruise terminal to get checked in. Remember what I said before? Leave your luggage behind. It'll meet you on the ship. All checked in and with cruise cards in hand we can head up the gangplank towards the ship. Your cruise card gets you on and off the ship. Don't lose it David! It is a legal requirement that you visit your muster or lifeboat station. They will scan your card to prove that you've been there and know where it is. You can then head to check out your room. Your cruise card will open the door. Wait for the knock as your luggage will be delivered to your cabin. Once you've unpacked, it will probably be time for your first sail away. Word of advice here, this was pretty much all that we saw of Florida. So if you'd like to see the first stop of your cruise, we would recommend staying in a hotel for a further couple of days, either at the beginning or end of the cruise. Some sail aways may be followed by a deck party, depending on the weather. This was after we sailed out of Charleston later on in the week. Familiarise yourself with the ship on the first evening so you can plan where you want to eat and be entertained moving forward throughout the week. Every evening you get left a cruise news and a chocolate. The cruise news will help you plan your following day's agenda. Speaking of the next day, our next day was the Bahamas and we always like to get up early to watch our sailing. I like to make sure that I have enough time to get my breakfast in. She means breakfasts plural. Count how many times she gets up to go back for more. Come on Claire, looks like it's time to check out another country. When you leave the ship, you will always need your cruise card. Check the cruise news the night before for the embarkation time that you need to be back on the ship. You may also need your passport. This should also be clear in cruise news the night before. Come on then, let's go and explore a new country. Join us next time when we visit Freeport where Claire has a little dance and shifts some shapes on her own. I have a drink on a swing. And Claire is very, very insistent on where we go for a cocktail. Okay, so does any of that take your fancy? If so, hit subscribe, come along for the ride. For now, do a little stunt. <laughs>